one. You're going to have to go to Christ. You're going to have to go to God. You're going to have to go to the Holy Spirit and ask the Holy Spirit what it is exactly that you want me to do, that you want me to say, that you want me to go through in this time frame. And if it's not mine, then allow me to know that it's not mine. Because if the battle is too big, do you think that God will allow you to go through that battle by yourself? No, he will not. But then check yourself because then if the battle is too big and that battle is of your mind and your heart, then maybe you're the one that's placing yourself in that battle anyway to begin with. And then we, we want to sit there and ask God to renew our strength and to restore our souls and all these things. And of course he will because he's a sovereign God and he's a wonderful God and he's a loving God and he gives us grace and mercy every day. But he is trying for us as his children, to not have to do and deal with the battles that are not pertaining to us. Why do you think that he gave us all the same commandment? Go out and preach the gospel throughout the whole world. Not just myself, not just, you know, the person that's in my church, everyone. So that we are able to sit there and speak the word through our own testimonies. And the thing is that if we're fighting other battles that do not belong to us, how can we then be able to preach the testimonies in the ones that are ours? <laughs> 